Scientists from San Diego were off the coast of LA when the fire started and what they found could affect us months or even years from now. Meteorologist Greg Bledsoe provides a closer look at how the LA fires could eventually affect the food we eat. When the fires tore through Los Angeles, destroying thousands of homes and businesses, they also sent towering plumes of ash and smoke out over the ocean that could be seen from space. Plumes of smoke, and it was so thick, even 70, 100 miles offshore. You can see the ash, though. As chance would have it, a group of scientists from San Diego happened to be off the coast of L.A. collecting water samples. Dark gray confetti all over the water, which was the ash. That's how they described it. We realized this was an opportunity to find out what was happening. With the deck covered in soot, scientists immediately changed course and started collecting that ashy ocean water. Because even the tiniest debris in that water could tell us a lot. What are the impacts of this, of the fire, the smoke in the marine ecosystem? NOAA's Dr. Noel Boland heads up what's called the Cal Coffee Project, which started 75 years ago. Our team goes out and collects plankton samples, and they get preserved in jars like this. More than a million of those samples have now been preserved. Well, this is a good one. In this room. January 1963. Like tiny time capsules. Thousands of little larvae, and you know, they all have a story to tell. And as the ocean and what's in it changes, even just a little, so can those samples. If something doesn't look right in, in it, how it's formed, you'll see it. You'll be able to see that. This is not the first time scientists have studied wildfire ash falling into the ocean, but these are not typical wildfires. So many of those fires that we've seen before are, you know, vegetation fires. These are urban fires, so these are houses, neighborhoods, people's homes, their businesses. Which means when memories and livelihoods went up in flames, so did all kinds of toxic materials, something now being referred to as urban ash. The ash honestly is going to contain a lot of toxins. We expect to see things like asbestos and other polycarbonates that we wouldn't normally see in a vegetation fire. Right now, off of California, this is peak anchovy spawning time. In the ash samples, we have pictures from our crew at sea of um, samples that are thick with anchovy eggs and all a bunch of ash and fire debris in that same sample. Why should people care about whether anchovies are healthy or not or the ecosystem is healthy or not? Well, because the base of the food system is so important for humans. Anchovies are feed birds, mammals, other big fishes that we all love to eat. Think of it like a trickle up effect that could take weeks or years to notice. Are you concerned? Yeah, I am. I'm concerned because we do expect to see some change. Will it be huge? I don't know that answer. So yes, I am concerned and I'm concerned for the community.